What can I do for you, Giovanna? I'm okay. You know, you don't have to be here today yet. Oh, no, I'm fine. Thanks. <clears throat> Why don't you go home and rest no. and come back tonight? No, I'm fine. I didn't know you. I didn't know your relationship with Mac. I only knew he was hiding something. It turned out to be his feelings. But you're so smooth, I figured you were hiding something, too. How could you tell? You lie to me about Mac. You lie to Mac about me. You lie to the judge about everybody. Sooner or later, you have to lose sight of the facts, don't you? No. No, you don't lose sight of the facts, not unless you're nuts. You just... You lose sight of your feelings. Mac knows how he feels. He's crazy about you, and he doesn't want to get caught. For a crook, it's crystal clear. On the other hand, for a cop, it's confusing. Mac's my friend, and I like him. Wire's my associate, and I hate him. I probably have to bust my friend if I'm gonna do my job. And I hate that, but I hate drug dealers, and somebody's gotta get rid of Carlos. How do I do that? With my powers of deduction, I walk into your restaurant, take one look at you, and realize no matter how good the food is, Mac's not here to eat. He's in love. Then I have to wonder if you're not as good about concealing your feelings as you are at taking care of your customers. I know you're not in the drug business, but maybe you've got guilty knowledge that can help me do my job. So I checked you out. You've had, as near as I can tell, three affairs in the last seven years. One with a lifeguard who was more a high school buddy than anything else, the other a painter from Venice who did some frescoes for your restaurant and the third a married man where you broke off a relationship almost immediately. See, you're, you're not exactly wild and crazy in this area, so I figured if you're willing to get involved with me, you're, you're probably not involved with Mac. But given his interest in you, you're as likely to find out what's going on in his life as anybody. And what I didn't figure is that you're not like me. You're honest and kind and principled. And I trust you. Suddenly, I'm... ashamed. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, and I'm nuts about you. Now I've only got one question, and it's not about Mac, and I want to know what you know about Mac. you know about me, Nick? Hmm? Oh, God. Didn't somebody turn the machine on? No, somebody didn't because I'm supposed to do it. Bellinari's good morning. Uh, no, I, I do too know who this is. How did you get my number? I'm really surprised you'd be left alone all night without any supervision. I don't believe you. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do.
Um, I'll be over as soon as I can. Okay? Okay. So, do you think there's a chance? Of what? Of seeing you tonight. Let's play it by ear. Call me later. 